Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to talk about tonight's pink supermoon, what time it rises, and, and how pink it actually will be this morning. When I went outside, it was around 445. The moon was so bright, it cast my shadow on the ground. It was in the western sky. This is what I saw when I went outside around 5 a.m. It was a 99% full moon. And tonight, when it comes up, it will be a full moon a pink full moon and if you look at this this is unedited by the way it does have a pink appeal to it see the corona it's pink and i've got another photo i took right here this is a different format it's unedited it's just a different setting on my camera and you can see a pink it's got less light but you can see a pink ring around the surface of the moon at least that's how it appears to us through the atmosphere uh, very unique. So tonight it will be interesting to see just how pink the moon does look around different parts of the world. That definitely has a pink corona. And again, I took that at 5 a.m. this morning unedited. We're going to take a look at what's going on with Comet Atlas and an update on Cyclone Herald down in the South Pacific. But first, there is speculation that Comet Atlas may be fragmenting. And what that means is it may be falling apart. It comes from a family of a, a great comet from 1844. And this is actually a piece of the great comet of 1844. And that comet also fragmented. So this one here may be behaving like the comet of 1844 with regard to fragmentation. If you look here at a couple of recent photos, you can see the nucleus back a few days ago was brighter. That's the yellow part in the center. And that's a recent photo. The nucleus is much dimmer. So it's not 100% confirmed. It could be just a phase that it's going through. Don't know. But it does appear to be dimming. At first, I thought maybe it was because of the super moonlight. It was affecting the, the optics from ground-based telescopes, but maybe not. Once I saw the nucleus, I'm like, well, okay, it is very possible that it is indeed fragmenting. So we'll have to see. Um, time will certainly tell, but the light and the coma around the, the comet itself have gotten much, much smaller. Taking a quick look at Cyclone Herald down in the South Pacific. It's downgraded now to a Cat 3. It was a very intense high-end Category 5 storm as it went through Vanuatu. Now it's coming up on Fiji. I think it's going to go just southwest of Fiji. Here's a little video clip I made of the uh, cyclone and you can see we've talked about this before and you can see here in this little video clip of the downdraft coming from this cyclone and each square you see here represents about 700 I'm sorry 350 miles and it extends at least two squares which would make it 700 miles so all in all aesthetically it's about 700 miles wide and you can see the downdraft remember Hurricanes push down and tornadoes pull up. And you can see a classic example there of that downdraft coming from the cyclone that extends for 700 miles. Unbelievable. And that's a Category 3 now. See it right there? Back here, it was a Cat 5. Unbelievable storm. But it is weakening. And the farther south it goes, the cooler waters that it enters, then it will quickly dissipate. These waters down here are, are much cooler and they do not sustain cyclones. Up here, obviously they do. The water is warmer and that did peak at a Cat 5, a strong Cat 5, but it is weakening and it's now a Category 3 storm. Tonight's supermoon will rise around 630, 640, and that's a picture of a pink moon and it does look very similar to what I saw this morning at around 5 a.m. See that pink ring around the moon? Here it is. Right here, you can see a pink ring. Definitely there. I was quite surprised at how pink it was. It didn't show up as good in the in the picture as I thought it would. And here's another picture I took. Definitely got a pink corona. And it was casting a shadow on the ground. We are currently enjoying, this is from earthsky.org. We are currently enjoying a season of three full supermoons. We had one on March 9th, now April 7th and the 8th, and then May 7th. Then we'll have another season of three new supermoons. September 17th, October 16th, and November 15th. Three months in a row, three supermoons. Three months in a row, three supermoons. How about that? So tonight's supermoon will rise around 6.40 p.m. And it will be visible if it's not cloudy 
all night long, extending over into April 8th. Here's a little video I put together of the supermoon that I saw this morning and uh, Lisa from Hayward Hills, California. This is a video I took unedited. If you look at it real close, you can see there is a pink ring around the surface of the moon, visible, clearly visible, and the corona extending out from the, the moon. The clouds, the there was a little bit of moisture in the air, but not much. It was a very clear morning. Um, definitely pink, <laughs> no doubt about it. Here's a still photo. Again, it's a different setting. You can see the pink corona extending out from the moon. Very, very bright bright moon and then this is a different setting I had on the camera and you can see that pink ring and I minimized the corona so I reduced the light so you could see the ring uh, very obvious there on the moon and then a young lady from California sent me a video she took this about an hour after I did over in California you can see the sky is blue so the Sun was just starting to come up over the horizon this was around 630 I took my photos and, and uh, pictures around 5 a.m. but again you can see even over in California same thing Got a pinkish halo around the, the moon, or a corona, if you will. Uh, the moon itself was not bright pink, at least in, in these images and videos. But tonight, you know, it, it uh, may very well be. So worth a look. I will be out getting uh, pictures and video tonight as the moon comes up over the horizon around 6.40 p.m. I've had people ask if the supermoon will increase earthquake activity on Earth. And I don't think that it's going to necessarily increase earthquake activity. We have full moons every month. You know, we go through the lunar cycle. And I always watch closely during the full moon cycle. And even during the new moon cycle, when the, the moon is positioned between the Earth and the sun. And then when the moon is farthest from the Earth and the sun. That's the full moon that we're going through actually right now. And earthquake activity, I have not noticed an increase. There is an uptick because of the current ongoing swarm that's still occurring in Idaho. And there was a small swarm down in Southern California that has substantially subsided. So there has been an uptick recently. There's been some activity, but that's ongoing at Yellowstone. And that's not being influenced that I know of by the moon. This was going on before the moon even became a full moon. And it's still active. Look at this activity here in Yellowstone. Very, very big busy around the caldera of the supervolcano. So once again, tonight's big supermoon will be rising around 6.30, 6.40 p.m. It does have a pink appeal to it. I saw it this morning at 99% full moon, and it did have a pink corona, and it was very, very bright. So make sure you check that out tonight. Also been monitoring a titanic storm off the west coast of the United States. You can see it churning here on the GO-16, bringing a lot of rain into the Los Angeles area. You can see here at windy.com the rain moving through right now as we do this video. Some places have seen in the neighborhood of six inches of rain in the greater Los Angeles area. Received a little video from Jorge over in the Los Angeles metro area. And you can see the ominous looking storm clouds very low on the horizon that have been bringing a lot of rain to that area. And that rain is moving over into the desert southwest tonight and into tomorrow. Also, if you guys are new viewers subscribe to the YouTube channel click on the bell that way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video if you're current subscribers double check and make sure that they're both still activated if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr. mbb 333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow if you have any super moon photos by all means send them in and we'll put them in the gallery and use them in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.